Newton Knight for a local coach. Well, that is true, Glenn. In fact, new tonight, a former coach with Northeast Kansas roots is getting inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame. And 27 News reporter Max Dutton joins us live in Kansas City where the ceremony just wrapped up. Hey, Glenn. Hey, David. I'll tell you what. The Chiefs game is not the only excitement in Kansas City tonight. The College Basketball Hall of Fame was taking place, and I've seen so many basketball icons here today. And one of those icons actually grew up just down the road from Topeka. Coach Lon Kruger is etching his name in the history books. When a coach goes in, it's a result of uh, number one, a lot of years probably, and uh, then a lot of very good players. Very good players, a lot of good staff around, and certainly that was, uh, uh, in my case, uh, the truth. He's coached for teams all over the country. In fact, Lon Kruger is the only coach in college basketball history to win a game in the NCAA tournament with five different teams. But after growing up in the small town of Silver Lake, Kansas, he's a Kansas boy at heart. Couldn't have imagined a better growing up time than in Silver Lake to continue that uh, you know, experience at Kansas State. Uh, all very fortunate. Before he sat on the sideline in a suit and tie, Coach Kruger was an all-conference point guard at K-State. I think growing up that you're going to play forever. And when those days end, then the next best thing is, is in our, our mind was, was to coach. And coaching he did. He compiled 674 wins with five different teams, leading two of those teams to the Final Four. In 2021, he retired after a 10-year stint with the Oklahoma Sooners. 40-plus years of coaching later, Kruger says the best part was spending it all with his family. Wife Barbara, you know, 47 years, uh, that's where it all starts, you know, but then you got the, the sons and daughters and grandkids, uh, uh, it makes it awfully special. Well, there was a familiar face in tonight's ceremony, that's head coach Roy Williams. Roy spent 15 years with the Jayhawks and then 18 years over in North Carolina, and he was inducted in 2006, but he was formally honored tonight. Reporting live in Kansas City, Max Dutton, 27 News. All right, Max, thank you so much. And I think Matt wants to get a tape measure on that rim behind you.